Hey everybody, I have a little bit of a confession to make today. I am a loud and proud book nerd. For as long as I can remember, I have loved books. And I love everything about them. I love the smell of them and the weight of the feeling of a book in your hand. I love the way it cracks a little bit when you open the cover of a hardcover book for the first time. I love getting lost in a story and I love the feeling that you get when you finish a really good book and you just have to sit and be in that space for a couple of seconds. I can't imagine a life without books. There were always books in my house growing up, and my school had tons of books in the library readily available for us to read whenever we wanted to. But some kids are not so lucky. One study published in 2006 showed that in middle-income areas, for every one child, there were 13 books that they had access to. However, in low-income areas, for every 300 children, there was one book that they had access to. One. And in my opinion, that is a huge problem. This is the point of my video today. I want to tell you all about a charity called First Book. First Book provides access to new, quality books for kids in need. Books like Dr. Seuss's ABCs and Corduroy, and some of my personal favorite books, The Elephant and Piggy series by Mo Willems. They work with educators and programs in low-income communities to provide free or low-cost books to get as many books into the hands of as many kids as possible. Studies have shown that giving kids access to books early on gives them better chances of going on to higher education, getting better jobs, and having better relationships with their families. And as children get older, reading is a crucial part of expanding their worldview and helping them understand the people and the world around them. And that all starts with that first book. So the reason I made this video is because today is the first day of Project for Awesome. During the Project for Awesome, thousands of people make videos advocating for charities that they care about that decrease the overall suck in the world. And the coolest part about the Project for Awesome is that all the money raised on the first day is going to go to this year Save the Children and the United Refugees Fund, and then the second day um, the community comes together and votes on all the videos posted and decides where to send the rest of the money that's raised. So you could go to the Project for Awesome and vote for this video, and maybe First Book could get some of the money donated to charity this year. So if you want more information, I will definitely leave the link in the description below to the Project for Awesome website. And I really encourage you to go check out different charities, and if you're able to, donate a little bit of money to the cause, and hopefully we can decrease a lot of the suckiness in the world. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you have a great day and a great Project for Awesome, and I will see you next time. Bye!